So we're going to continue testing the Vision API by Microsoft. And what we're going to do is just continue but test it with maybe a more confusing images. We just want to see how good this API is. Um, so we've got an image here. Two people about to jump into water. A guy and a girl. So I've got the image URL. I'm going to pass it as a parameter and let's see what data we get back once the image has been analyzed. Fingers crossed we get back some good results. So image description, I don't know if you can read that text. Image description, a woman standing next to a body of water. That's fair enough. I mean it left out the guy but 50% accuracy. I'd say that's not too bad. But maybe it could be a bit more accurate, I guess. So let's now try and maybe get some more confusing images. Oh, what's happening here? Search for funny. This way we will get something random come up. I just want to see what it does. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that looks that looks pretty weird. What's going on here? Whoa. That's an interesting image swap going on over there. So let's pass in the URL of this image. And let's see what the computer vision API gives us back. We'll run that. Fingers crossed. Something comes through. A close up of a person wearing a costume. Now that's interesting. Look at that second parameter, our second property that's come back. So, is adult content has returned as true? A 0.8 score. That's interesting. So, in other words, this image contains adult content. Now this score system here is a zero to one scale. So the closer it is to one, the higher the chance that there is adult content in this picture. Now from what I can see, there isn't any adult content here. I don't know what has been seen as adult content in this picture. But well, there you go.